Wow, praise the Lord Jesus who's given us everything we need today for our Cajun 101 episode and we're making beer battered deep fried gar balls and uh, we happen to be using about 12 ounces of gar tonight because it's just my wife and I eating it and uh, six and a half ounces of rice and we've pre-cooked the rice and we've tried to make it on the sticky side because the main point of the rice is to help the uh, gar balls stick together okay so we're just uh, dropping the gar into a chopper and you can use whatever your favorite uh, chopper or blender happens to be uh, this is ours you know if yours happens to be a little bigger or a little smaller uh, all that's fine the goal is to get it chopped up uh, you want most of your pieces to end up between uh, say a uh, eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch uh, for the typical size of your pieces so in addition uh, to the gar and the rice oh i'm guessing maybe a teaspoon of tony shasheri's creole seasoning and we're going to go with four cloves of garlic oh come on boy I, when you want to smell the garlic you just want to put in a little more so you know i'm not going to judge you if you put in a little more garlic than i do there is a redeemer jesus god's own son precious lamb of god messiah oh holy one okay the first food processor it didn't really work out that well. We're going to go ahead and go with the bigger one here. So that's kind of the size of the parts there um, between a quarter and an eighth of an inch I'm actually gonna give it a little more time because some of the pieces looking closely down in there aren't quite as small as the pieces on top so we'll give it another one all right once you get the gar and the rice well blended together uh, for cooking purposes, uh, you can make the gar balls in different size. Uh, we like about an inch, an inch and a half. So you just kind of form them in with your hands. The ball's about that size. And as you're forming the gar, gar balls, you might find some little pieces of tissue, uh, connective tissue. It, it reminds me of gristle. I go ahead and take those out. It's uh, very similar to making meatballs it just happens to be with gar but the rice is the uh, sticking agent okay so for the beer batter we've got one cup of all-purpose flour we've got two tablespoons of cornstarch and we've got one half teaspoon of baking powder and the goal when you're adding the beer is you're aiming for the consistency of pancake batter and it's okay if it has a few lumps you don't want to beat it to death because that you lose some of the advantages of the beer the light flakiness if you beat it too much uh, it kind of goes flat and you lose you know the uh, the carbonation that really makes uh, beer batter stuff special. Now over time, uh, we've learned that my family kind of prefers a little lighter breading. So this might uh, be a pancake batter that would make uh, kind of pancakes on the thinner side, uh, just because we don't like the breading so thick on our dishes. Uh, but if you like the breading a little thicker, uh, you'd make it pancake batter so your pancakes would end up a little thicker. All right, so um, we're going to have a close look on how fast it's cooking. 
Uh, so I'm thinking with this size, it's going to take between two and three minutes. We'll probably start having a closer look uh, at the two minute mark to see uh, how brown the breading is. When the, when the breading is a golden brown, time to take them out. Going in at 7.07. Okay, while those keep cooking, let's talk a little bit about our frying fat. Our frying oil is 25% uh, duck fat, 50% uh, regular peanut oil, and 25% hot red pepper peanut oil. We've got another video on that about how to make the, uh, the hot pepper oil. All right, 709. Wanna have another look? I'm thinking these need at least one more minute. Well, praise the Lord Jesus for the gar balls. It's time for the taste test. Great flavor, great on the garlic, nice strong garlic flavor. I can taste the heat coming through the Tony Shasheries and the uh, hot red pepper oil. And wow, it's just kind of a mild flavored fish in the background, almost like a crab cake or something like that. What, what's your opinion, my bride? Better than crab cakes. I approve. Woo! They're good. Crab cakes have too much bread. Tommy drills one high and deep to center. Away, way, way back. Gone deep into the picnic plaza. And that might have even got out of the ball. Take another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk walk through the written word. Of Jesus. Take another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk walk through the written word of Jesus.